So Livingston fruit bats, they're one of the largest and rarest bats in the world. Uh, they have a 1.4 metre wingspan and currently in the wild they have less than 1,300 left which to some people might sound like a lot, but when you consider that uh, animals like African elephants, there are 450,000 left, it's actually quite a small number. These bats come from the Comoros Islands off the coast of Madagascar. They are a ecosystem pollinator, so they help to plant new trees by dispersing seeds across the forest. They eat fruit, and so they uh, spread fruit seeds by being very messy eaters, and also in their poop as they fly around. So without them, the forests uh, would struggle to regenerate. In the 1990s, conservationists went to the Comoros Islands and established a captive breeding program with 17 individuals at Jersey Zoo. That captive breeding population at Jersey was later expanded to include Bristol Zoo. And today in captivity, because of the hard work of all the keepers, the researchers, uh, the scientists and the conservationists, we now have 71 individuals in captivity. Relatedness in captive breeding populations is a really interesting topic because the more related individuals are, the more you want to discourage them from breeding. Inbreeding causes things like infant death, high infant mortality, and also it reduces genetic diversity. And genetic diversity is important because it's the ability of a species to adapt to change in the environment. These bats are very unique. Not only are they some of the largest and rarest bats in the world, they also have their own unique personalities and characters. They have interesting social behaviours and every single one of them is special and unique. So for example, Matui is one of the most curious bats. She will always come up and see what people are doing when they're in the enclosure. Uh, Stefan is the dominant male. He likes to shout about who's boss. And Ben in Jersey always tries to steal my equipment. To support this project, what you can do is you can go to experiment.com forward slash bat on the brink and have a look at the crowdfund page. If you share it with your friends and family, that's great. If you want to donate, that's even better. And together we can help support and to try and save the species for the coming years.